my face isn't at all matching my body but I think it's because the foundation I'm using has horrible flashbacks so trust me I'm buying a new one soon and it just like isn't matching on camera but like off camera it does so please bear with me I know it looks like I don't know how to do makeup I don't know how to match my body but like I do sometimes Welcome to my channel. So I have my November favorites, which is crazy because I just feel like I did September favorites. I'm so excited for December because of the obvious reason of Christmas, but also because I have my hair extensions on Saturday and I'm doing eyelash extensions on Wednesday. And I know a lot of people, well I guess I'm already gonna have them by the time this video is up, but I know like last time I said I hated my eyelash extensions because I did. Um, I think I, I just went to like a bad place and they gave me like weird lashes or something because like everyone else loves them and I hated mine. So um, my one friend was like wearing eyelash extension until like she had them on and I was like, oh my god, are this eyelash extension? She's like, yeah. I was like, give me your girl. So I'm going to her girl. Um, and like hopefully she will give me bomb eyelashes. Really quickly, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the amazing feedback on my strip down challenge video. I was really, 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 really nervous posting that. I didn't want to post it, to be completely honest, because I hate when people look at me as weak and I don't like a lot of attention, um, especially when it comes to like people showering me compliments and stuff. I get really, really, really uncomfortable and I don't know how to respond and I just kind of am like, thank you, and it seems really unsincere, but like I don't know how to respond in those situations. I get super uncomfortable. So know that you guys are so nice and I appreciate every single thing you say. But if like my comments seem standoffish, it's because like I just, I don't know how to respond to them. Um, it's not like you, but you guys are just so nice and I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Everyone has insecurities and being insecure doesn't make you weak. But in my head, I was just like, oh, I'm crying on camera. I don't want anyone to like think that way of me. But... It's just been amazing feedback, so thank you guys so much for being so nice and so positive. It really means a lot to me. I was super nervous to post that, and you guys just always um, give me confidence and insurance that you guys are always behind me all the time, and that really means so much. So thank you guys so much. So forever, I've been using the Anastasia Dip Brow, and I swore by it. I use nothing else, and it's because every time I used a pencil, my eyebrows looked horrible. And then I was watching, I think it was a Jaclyn Hill video, and she said that if you hated pencils, try Brow Wiz. And that like stuck in my mind for like three months, and I was like, whatever, I'll get it one day. And then one night, I was just, I had this sudden urge to go get it. So I went out of my house, and I went to Ulta, and I bought it, and I love it. I don't know if I prefer it over my dip brow, but it definitely looks a lot more natural and not so drawn on. My dip brow, you know, it did look pretty drawn on a lot of the time, but that's because I cake it on. Like, I love the look of it, so I did it a lot. But, like, this looks a lot more natural, and especially with, like, this makeup look that I have going on right now, which is also another favorite. I've been loving this. I'm going to do a tutorial. Um, I think these brows just suit it a little bit better. But, like, when I do, like, more intense looks, you guys believe I'll be pulling out the dip brow. This is in the shade Ebony. If anyone is wondering, this is my hair color. This is my brow color. So, if you are like me, here it is. I hauled this a long time ago, you guys. Like, a really long time ago in an Ulta haul. And um, I said I'd try it, I did, and I hated it because I don't know. Um, I gave it one shot and I was like, this sucks, and then I went on to better than sex. I'm sorry, like you do not suck. I love this, it is so amazing. Um, I didn't even say what it was, it's Roller Lash by Benefit. This is amazing at separating your lashes and lengthening them and also being super black. That's awesome, that's what I look for, but it's not like lengthening to the point where like you just, it just looks like you have like stick lashes. It kind of gives them like a little bit of oomph behind them, but it's not a volumizing mascara, but it looks really, really good. I know a lot of people always ask me, what's a good daytime mascara? And I'm like, what's a daytime mascara? Like, give me the intense drama all the time, 24-7. But now I realize this is a good daytime mascara because it's nice and long and black and beautiful and just really effortless looking on the lashes. I have been in a lip fiend lately, you guys, to the point where I now carry this around. The one that's on my lips right now is probably one of my favorites ever. I love this one, um, but I don't at the same time. This is CoverGirl Queen Collection, 
lip gloss. I don't know where you can get it. CoverGirl sent it to me. Um, maybe you can get it in the drugstore, I really hope. But it's just like an icy pink look. And it just makes your lips look really wet. But as you guys can see, you probably can't see. But like when I first put this on, it was intense. And like within like 10 minutes, no lie, it goes away. So it's like a really good lip gloss for pictures. Like right before you take a picture, slap this on. But it's not a good long wearing lip gloss. Like I have to put more on. There we go. I've been in like such a light pink phase right now. I love all light pink lip glosses. Um, this one is my other favorite of life. I absolutely love this. It is Makeup Forever Pro Lip Gloss, I think. The Artist Plexi Gloss in the shade 200. It's beautiful. Um, it's really wet on the lips looking. It's really, really glossy and it's super, super long wearing. The only thing with this is it's one color and one dimensional and this one has a little bit of reflex in it. So this one has a like dimension to the lip, but this one makes your lips look huge, glossy, wet. I just, I really love this lip gloss. And then, whenever I'm not feeling a light pink, I've been going in with a dark lip color. I've worn it in a lot of Instagrams and I wore it like on a lot of my Snapchats and you guys have been obsessed with it, as have I. And I'm just in love. And I heard about this because my one friend Lily tweeted about it and I was like, oh, I heard about that product but I didn't really want to go get it. Um, and then I saw Liz on YouTube. She posted an Instagram picture and I was like, okay, I need that. Um, so it was Stone Lip Liner by MAC, so I called my MAC store because I wasn't going to go drive 20 minutes and pick it up if I didn't know that they would have it. So I was like, hey, do you have Stone Lip Liner? And they're like, no, we're sold out. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And they're like, oh, we have the lipstick in stock. I was like, okay, I'll be right there. So I went down and I got Stone Lipstick. So pretty. It's like purpley, gray, brown. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. What I love about this lipstick is you can put a brown lip liner under it and make a super nude, kind of like Kylie's new lip kits. I didn't get one, by the way. You can put a purple lip liner under it, make it super vampy, super purple. I'm scared it's gonna fall. Or you could even put a gray lip liner under it and make it super cool. Like, this is such a unique and awesome lipstick. It's amazing, like, it's just amazing. I love it. Um, for a lip liner, I've been pairing it with Vino, also by MAC. This is like a true purple. Yeah, it's like purple, maroony. It's really, really pretty. And what I do with this is I line my entire lips with this and I fill in the outer corners and then I put stone on all over the lips and then I go back in with Vino, blend it out. You know, it's a process, but it looks bomb and these stay on your lips all night. Like I went to a hockey game in these and then I went to a friend's house and it was on all night. So. I love them, gotta have them. I have a lot of makeup to talk about just because I've been like, I wore makeup I think every single day this month just because I love it. Eyeshadows, you guys, I have not done anything other than use this MAC palette. Up until like um, a few days ago, I, d I did one look for the entire month of November and it was so easy, so effortless. You guys want tutorials on it all the time. It's in like half my Instagram pictures from this month. It's in my strip down challenge video, like that's the makeup. Everyone wants a tutorial, so I will do a tutorial on it. Um, but basically, it was super easy. All that I did was I took satin taupe, which I've been drowning in this color lately. You know, you know what's funny? It looks like stone lipstick. <laughs> so you guys can tell I've been like into like that purpley gray muted tones right now. Just like give it to me. I'm obsessed with them right now. Oh my gosh. So I've been using satin taupe all over my lid and up into my crease and then I just blend it out. And then I would take floof and put that on my inner corner. I've been obsessed, it's all I did. It, I could do it in like three minutes because I just kept doing it. Occasionally I'd put upper um, liquid liner on, not normally though. I love that makeup. It's always gonna be like my go-to when I wanna have like sexy dark makeup on that's not too overpowering for daytime. That's what I always will do. Floof is color of the year. I've been obsessed with highlighters lately. They have been my thing. So I have two palettes that I've really been liking. First one, I hauled the Becca Jaclyn Hill highlighter palette. So amazing. You guys can use this for your whole face. Let me tell you what I normally do is I'll highlight with champagne pop and then I'll put pearl right on like the highest point of my cheekbones, like right here. And then I'll put, um, what is this, blushed copper on my cheeks is blush and it's amazing. I've also used this on my eyes. I use this as an inner corner highlight. Like this is just a very, very versatile palette. 
It's amazing for the holidays. Ask for it for Christmas if you guys don't want to spend $34 because it is kind of pricey. Um, but I really, really recommend it. And the mirror, this is important. The mirror is nice and big. That's really important in a good palette is to have a nice big mirror. Another highlighting palette that I've been loving is this Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. And this has a teeny tiny mirror, but it's still okay. I like this because of this one, Incandescent Light. Beautiful. Jaclyn Hill would always use this for bridles, and that's really like the per- for bridles, for brides. This is like really the perfect shade for brides because it's a nice sheen, it's beautiful, and it just gives you a healthy glow to your skin. It's not too overpowering, it's just beautiful. <sighs> two more products, and then I'm done. Click off the video after two more products. First one, you might have noticed I'm a little bit tanner. It's because of this baby. Thank you for making me tanner. This is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. Beautycon or Gen Beauty gave this to me. I forget which one, but they gave it. Uh, Gen Beauty. They gave it to me, and I always use the light to medium one. And you know, I get tan from it, but I use this, and it's like way more natural looking, way less orange. The light to medium one isn't orange because it's green based, so it kind of can't be orange. But it like wasn't always tan enough, you know what I mean? But like this, really, really tan. Um, since it's the Express, you will have a light tan in an hour, a medium tan in two hours, and a dark tan in three hours. This was applied last night, so I think this is like a dark tan. If I do like more layers of it, it gets really, really dark. It's amazing. I love it. And um, it's just great. This is the mousse formula, so it dries really, really, really quick. So I just get out of the shower. It takes me like five minutes to put it all over my body. And then I just put some clothes on and I either do my makeup or if I do it at night, I just hop into bed. And it's great, I wake up tan. Um, also, since this is like a three hour one, it really doesn't look splashy. So if you put it on in the morning, in three hours, it's gonna look nice and smooth. Um, like on Thanksgiving, I put this on and then I put on like a really dark foundation so I could match later on. So in the beginning it looked crazy. It looked like I had no idea how to match my foundation. But at the end of the day, my dark, dark, dark ass foundation ended up being way too light for me. So this stuff gets you really tanned really fast and I really recommend it. Everyone has been like, oh my god, you look so tan. I'm like, it's fake. And they're like, oh my god, it looks so natural. I'm like, thank you. Last thing is by First Aid Beauty. Jessica sent me a huge package of First Aid Beauty. If you guys don't know Jessica, she's like the founder of First Aid Beauty and she's a dear friend of mine. She's amazing, you gotta love that woman. I love her to pieces. So she sent me a big package and this is by far my favorite thing in the package. It's the Ultra Repair Cream. I had two of these, she sent me two and I was like, gonna keep them both for myself because I'm like that. And I put it on and I was like, this is way too good not to share. So I like pulled off the other one. I was like, mom, please use this, enjoy this, like cherish this. It is such a good moisturizer, you guys. I use this at night and there's also a skin firming one which I'll put underneath my eyes, but like this one's like my real favorite. It just feels so good. You just need like a little tiny, tiny, tiny mountain and it spreads all over your face and you wake up and you have like oh, such a luscious face. It's so, such a... I gotta go, it's such a luscious skin. It's really, really amazing. I love it. So that's all for my November favorites. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys are listening to Christmas music. I am, <sighs> I love Christmas time. What do you guys want for Christmas? I will not do a Christmas wish list video just because I don't know what I want for Christmas. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below anything you want, anything you want, you know, just let me know. All right, I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.